G'day, Daniel Kazinas here. So, I've welded up this uh, drive shaft here. I've got two universals on it now. And we're gonna fit this onto the motor for the rear propeller setup. We've got that double universal sitting in place now. I've made the pivot offset so it sort of uses both universals and it can slide on here a little bit without binding them up. So then the way that this is going to raise and lower is I've cut out a few different patterns. This is the one that seems to work best. So that's going to be like a fin that pushes on the diff. ATV diff comes up, it'll let this slide back into position. I'll go up and down a few more times and then I'll cut this piece out of steel. Okay, I got that piece tacked in there. Let's give you a demonstration on how it works. So that'll be in land mode like that. So I'm gonna put it back in water mode. My daughter Mia just helped me mount this uh, little fuel tank here. I think the other one's got a suction leak in it somewhere. So we're just filling the can up. Alright, so inside here there's a, a shaft that comes up to here with a spline on the end of it. This, actually, this was actually by accident, but when you pull this back, and it falls down, it disengages, and then when it slides all the way forward, it puts load on it and it re-engages. So, it's like an automatic disengagement device. Pretty cool, eh? See if the Universal's cope running at that angle. Now, what's next? I've just got to simply do some steering. How am I going to do that? So typical situation, if I hooked that to there, it would be backwards. So I have to make a lever attachment. Oh, why is everything so hard? Well, I can't believe that setup worked as well as it did. Got the uh, lower back off here. Just made a trifecta of strengths with these rods on here. This is a uh, prop for a, like a long tail boat motor, mud motor. I made this shaft for another project. It's a uh, chainsaw powered surface drive. And I drilled this hole here at 12 mil. And then I think that this thread is an imperial, could be a half inch, that's so like 12.4 or something. So I'm sure I'll be able to bash that over the thread and it will, should be pretty straight on there. Maybe I'll give it a bit of a sand first. So we've got that prop on there. Turns out that this drive is actually two to one, so I'm hoping this might have enough power to get on the plane. I mean enough thrust, but I don't think it will. Everything's welded off a bit better, so I want to test it out now. I'm sick of working on it, I just want to put this in the water and see if I can give it a little test. Other stuff I've done off camera is I 3D printed a um, roller with a little bearing in it. This actually works really well. And then another piece of uh, chopping board on here. The whole chain is smoothed right out now. It's still loud, but it's alright. 
We've got a section of the modular boat full of water. That prop is actually right underwater. So let's fire up and see what happens, eh? I think it might have stripped the gearbox. Oh no. It moved a bit of water before it did. I think it was going to work. Guys, I think I was just real dumb. I'm pretty sure this just leapt up and it popped out of gear. I think it might be fine still. So I put a piece of aluminium inside there to hold the button down but I think we had other problems so what happens is this sits up too high and the spline's not engaging properly so what I think I need is a little lever off here so the top of the diff pushes against it forcing it that way so I need to weld something on there all right the diff just pushes up on that plate now locks it in place bad problem is now when you hit a rock or something that's just stuck there so it's going to break but it'll be alright and it just won't hit rocks waiting for the water to fill up a few swings while we're waiting So I hook this wire here to the battery, to the positive. I can hook it on here and it should charge it right. But then if I leave it on there, will that make the battery go flat? Help me out guys, leave me a comment. I don't know. So I've just left it off for now. I can plug it on when I'm driving. So it runs on water, it runs on land. Next thing to do is take it out for a test, I guess. So I'll just tidy up a few more things. Close, close, close. Once it starts, go close. Push it in, push it in. Alright, just got this muffler welded on here to quiet it down a bit, but the chains are still real loud, but it'll have to do for now. We're out at the water, about to test. Uh, I'm going to split this video up because I have to keep the build part and then the test part separate. So, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.